it's Mike with Iceberg Gaming. Today's video is another Project Zomboid Guide. Today I'm going to be going over the best way to power level first aid. First aid is arguably one of, if not the most useless skill in the game, but if you want to power level it for your personal achievement or whatever, this is the guide for you. To start off with, as always for leveling any skill, make sure you have read the appropriate skill books. This will dramatically increase how quickly you level up. Next up, make sure you have some medical supplies so that you can prevent yourself from, from dying once you're done leveling up. I recommend you have, at the very least, some bandages, uh, some disinfectant, and you'll definitely need a suture needle or a regular needle, suture holder, and some thread. Painkillers might also not be a bad idea. Next up, you need to either find or make some broken glass on the ground, and then we're going to take off our shoes. I also recommend you take off your socks so that you don't damage them, especially if, like me, you have tailored some patches into them for extra protection. Oh, and I almost forgot, one other thing you're definitely going to need is a pair of tweezers. After you've got all this ready, all you're going to do is just walk on the broken glass and your character will immediately get injured. After that, you'll just go into the health panel here, and we'll just repeatedly remove the glass with our tweezers over and over again. Now you can queue up these actions. So just keep clicking them over and over. And as you can see, our first aid skill is skyrocketing. Just make sure you keep an eye on your health and don't let yourself die. Also, you're going to want to make sure you are in a safe area because you are very vulnerable right now. Make sure you have cleared out an area around this of zombies. Especially if you have any mods that make it so that the zombies are attracted to the scent of blood. And you can just keep doing this until you... What I recommend is you do this until you hit the next level where you'll need to read the next book. And then I recommend you stop and go read the next book. And then you can do it again if you so desire. And you can just keep doing this over and over until you've hit the level of first aid that you want. The reason that this method works is because since we are standing on the glass, every time we remove the glass, it will, auto will instantly put glass back in our feet. So we can just keep removing it over and over. And this gives us a big skill up in first aid every time. And there we go, we have leveled up. Now the reason that we needed to bring all those medical supplies, because as you can see, these are deep wounds. So we're going to need to stitch them up right away once we're done power leveling up our first aid. And once we are done, all we do to stop doing this method is we just step off of the glass and then we'll actually remove the glass for real this time and then i do recommend you disinfect and then stitch and then bandage and then you can put your shoes and socks back on now keep in mind you are in a vulnerable position right now your health is very low and you might be limping around if you haven't gotten stitched up so just make sure you are in a safe area, and then you can go back to your base and let this heal up. And that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, the channel you can hit the join and super thanks buttons below.